could be anything like shoes, food, movies, pretty much anything you guys spend your money on. You guys want to track your daily spending and then determine your income and expenses. That is if you have a job, you have money coming in. So you want to track how much money you got coming in and then how much money you got coming out. You want to find ways to decrease your spending, which I'll go over later. And you want to find ways to increase your income, which means getting a better job or sticking with your job and you might get a promotion or something. I don't know. So tips for helping you decrease and saving your money. The next slide. Next slide. Tony. Um, there is no other one. Oh. Okay. Well, tips for helping you save and decrease your money are um, first, carry only small amounts of cash in your wallet so you will not spend it. If you have a job, use direct spend, use direct deposit on your paycheck so it just goes straight to your bank account. Third, control your use of credit cards. Fourth, do not go shopping for fun. That's important. That means um, just be careful with your money. You know. Uh, fifth is take your written savings goal Wait. with you as a reminder. Uh, six is buy only what you need. Do not buy things just because they are on sale. That's, that's hard for us ladies. Yeah. It's really difficult. Use coupons to save money. That's a big, that's, that's huge. You use food stamps too? That's right. You can. Yay. Use a grocery shopping list to prevent impulse buying. That's important. Just, you know, you want to carry a list with you whenever you go to Publix or anything. Yeah. And then take your lunch to work instead of eating out. That's pretty good too. You want to take your lunch leftovers or anything like that? Instead of buying food at school or, or anywhere else. <laughs> Shop around to get the best deal on big ticket items like cars and appliances. Whenever you're shopping for a car, you want to go check out a lot of places before you just decide on one place, you know? <laughs> and then you also, what she talks about, you want to pay your bills on time to avoid late fees, finance charges, utilities, being turned off, eviction, repossession, and the cost of having bad credit. Alright, some savings tips. You want to think about the items you want to purchase on a regular basis, add them up, and then see what you can save. Things like if you go to a restaurant a lot, you want to um, dim down on that. I want to do this. Pay yourself first.